Hiya beans, it's Ali and welcome to another questions and answers part three. This is going to be technically a yearly thing that I do for each year I do a Q&A for you being someone to get to know me or anime ASMR related or any questions, just technically anything. <laughs> Also, um, before I begin the q and I will not be answering the ones that I already answered from my past Q&A videos, so I may skip a few, just so you know. If you beans are wanting to watch my past Q&As, I will be leaving them in the, the description down below if you would like to check them out. They're only two years old, and um, yeah, so let's begin the Q&A. So the first question is asked by It's Kia Boy, and they asked, Who's your favorite Sonic character? Okay, very simple question. My favorite Sonic character happens to be Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, the only thing I'm gonna say about him is that he's just an emo boy, a total tsundere, has a soft heart, but just doesn't want to admit it. Technically, he's the ultimate life form, and he's been my comfort character ever since I was 10 years old. Anyways, the next question is by Kiyomi Kurta, and they asked, What is your most favorite anime? Hmm, if we're talking about most personal favorite animes, I would have to say it's either Death Note or Toilet Bell and Hanako-kun. Death Note has been my favorite ever since I was in high school, and Hanako-kun was current, and to be honest, I just love the story in general. The next question is asked by Homura VA, and she asked, Do you plan on taking voice acting as a career? If not, what are you planning on taking as a career? To be honest, I'm not sure what I want as a career. Well, for all these years, I've been wanting to become an artist and use that as my career, but I don't mind doing voice acting or writing stories because that's technically my dream job, is writing graphic novels or mangas of my own and just share my art to the world. That's pretty much my real um, career. Anyways, the next question is by Attack on Titan Hunter Hunter 95. They asked, do you plan to collect all of the Hunter Hunter and Attack on Titan mangas? Um, to be honest, if I have another shelf, I would love to collect all the mangas. But, um, I don't think I'll be able to have them if I'm all caught up with the animes. Right now, I may just collect a lot of Junji Ito and Toilet Bound Hanako-kun stories. <laughs> the next question is asked by Giraffelope7047. <laughs> and they asked, What fictional animal from Hunter x Hunter you find so adorable? The Fox Bears. You, you can't disagree with me. The fox bears are the most adorable freaking creatures in the freaking world. Especially in the 1999 where Gon takes care of this baby fox bear. And to be honest, I would like to keep one as a pet. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... Okay, this is two questions. They're asked by Haley Kitty 123 And the first question is... Hi, Mama Bean. I have a question. Can us little beans plan you and Papa Bean's wedding? Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. We need to discuss about that maybe later. And the next question is What's your favorite aesthetic? Hmm. Personally, I always go for the dark aesthetic or the gothic aesthetic, but I also like the cottagecore aesthetic. I can go like edgy or cutesy sort of, you know, aesthetic. Anyways, the next question is asked by White Tired Triva? Um, and they ask, if you could date any anime character, who would it be? Hmm... Well, technically Papa Bean is the only anime character I would date. He is also my husbando and I am his waifu. The next question is asked by Greek Kura EXE 1954 and they asked, What is your first creepypasta? Um hmm. 
Actually, my first creepypasta happens to be Tails doll. I know to some of you view that think like it's not a creepypasta, but the internet kind of treats it as a creepypasta. I mean, to be honest, it's like one of my most favorite creepypasta dolls on the internet. Usually the Tails doll curse. But yeah, that's technically my first creepypasta was... Yeah, <laughs> kind of silly. The next question is asked by Journal of a Wimpy Girl, and they asked, Have you ever dyed your hair? Yes, I have. Back in 2022, I dyed my hair half and half, and the other half would be in different colors. It was a really fun phase until my hair began to get damaged. But don't worry, my hair is doing alright. Hopefully I get to do it again, because that was fun. The next question is asked by 667676. And they asked, what's your favorite cosplay that you've done before? Ooh, I actually have one. It has to be 2D from Gorillaz. I have to say, it's actually one of my most favorite and most fun cosplays I have ever done. And I just feel proud of facing my fears on colored contact lenses and making myself look so cartoony and ridiculous as possible. It's one of my most favorite and actually best cosplays. The next question is asked by Jasmine Okami and I'm going to not answer a few um, that I've already answered but I will just be answering two of these questions so the second one is was Kiki the only pet you had? No, I've had other pets beside Kiki from the past. I had like two dogs. I used to have some fish. Um, but not only I have Kiki in my life, but I also have a dog that's been adopted, and he's also part of the family. And the third question is, what would you say to any fan that wants to do voice acting? To me, I would have to say, try to take some time to record, take a deep breath, show some emotions to the character you're voicing, and understand what they're feeling throughout the script or story because that's really really important is to show emotion to your character or else it just sounds like you're not even showing emotions it's something like you know acting but yeah <laughs> that's what i would like to tip on you beans the next question is asked by artora and they have asked least favorite anime you've seen Ooh, this is gonna sound a little controversial, um, Beans, please don't hate me for this, but this is my own personal opinion. I would have to say Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia. Look, I actually like the anime. I enjoy the story. It seems kind of simple and kind of cute. It's just the fandom kind of ruined it for me, and I stayed away from the anime because of those fandoms. It's so toxic. Everything is just... It just ruined the fun for me and that anime. So I'm so sorry to any My Hero Academia fans out there. It's... It, it just, these fans just ruined it for me. Anyways, the next question is asked by Shana Yokes, and what is your most favorite project ASMR you did and why? To be honest, my favorite project that I've done has to be, um, it's between Beauty and the Beast Aloise X Listener or Kurapika X Cinderella Listener. To be honest, doing Disney crossovers and with a mix of anime is actually the best genius idea I've ever came up with and it just sounds kind of cute and I had so much fun writing and singing classic songs and I just had fun with it. It's like a mixture of weeaboo-ish and Disney fan- like phonetic. <laughs> the next question is asked by Jake Super Gamer, and they ask, what do you do when you're not making videos? Interesting question. What I personally do is I cosplay when I'm bored. Um, I'd be playing some video games that, you know, catches my eye. I'd be drawing digitally or traditionally on paper or canvas. And sometimes I would be watching anime and horror movie night dates with Papa Bean. The next one is asked by Siach Kazua. 
I think I said that wrong. And they asked, what kind of romantic partner do you think Kurapika would like? Ooh, that's a really interesting question. I would just say Kurapika, hmm. I would say he would not be into people like Nia, for example, that's spoiled, that's rotten in the inside. I think he's more into people that are more sweet and caring and, you know, needs to be protected. And I would say he is not shallow, he can date anyone, it doesn't matter what size, race, or uh, maybe gender. <laughs> uh, I guess say Kurapika is bisexual king. <laughs> The next question is asked by Meli ASMRVA, and um, I'm not going to answer the first one, but the second one is Did you play or hear about Omori? And your voice is so cute. Thank you. Um, first of all, no, I never played Omori, but I've heard about it and I know a little bit about it, but I do plan to play it soon. It does look pretty interesting. The next question is asked by Alex Gentry, and they asked, What got you into anime, and Hunter x Hunter in particular? To be honest, as a very young girl, I was very curious on other like countries' cartoons, and anime looked really interesting for me for all these years, and I thought, maybe I can give it a try and see what they're actually like. Because anime really caught my interest at a very young age, because it's such a unique style, and to be honest, right now, I'm just like, these are better stories than some Western cartoons. No shame on Western cartoons, like, there's so many amazing ones like Adventure Time, Regular Show, Spongebob, Invader Zim, but anime has so many different genres, and to be honest, there's so many options, and that's the best part about anime. I'd say the same thing with the answer with Hunter x Hunter. It's a unique story. The next question is asked by Hermione Granger, and they asked, What are your opinions about Leorio and Kiloa in the show? <laughs> they're funny, they're so likable, so random, and the little fights they would get into, and a few little moments, especially when Kiloa cannot get his name right. <laughs> it's such a funny duo between the two. <laughs> The next question is asked by It Hanako 2.7, and they asked, What is your favorite BL anime? Ooh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've read or watched any Yami, but I think there's one BL that I worship way back in my teen years, and it's called Maiden Rose. To any young beans out there, please don't look this up. It is pretty explicit, and please just, just don't. But there is a PG sort of uh, BL anime, and I think you may know this one. It's called Yuri on Ice, and to be honest, it's become my favorite BL. The next question is asked by Emilias ASMR, and they ask, Do you have any cosplays or future cosplays you're excited to do? Yeah, actually, I have two projects to, uh, for any cosplays, or three. One of them is Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan, Your Forger from Spy Family, oh, and most definitely Arkham series Harley Quinn. My top favorite Harley Quinns. The next question is asked by njude31878, and they asked, how, f how do you feel doing ASMR for Kurapika x18? That embarrassing, right? Okay, um, sorry for the grammar, but, um, um, I do feel a little embarrassed, but I also find it kind of funny because, um, you know, I was just testing to see whether or not, um, I can make it a little spicy, but to be honest, I just had fun with it. <laughs> the next question is asked by Delisa, and they asked, um, greetings from Mexico. Hola. My question is, do you know the baby metal band? If you know it, what is your favorite song? Yes, I know Baby Metal, and I used to listen to their music since I was in high school. I think the song that I love from them is called The Roads of Ex uh, Resistance. It's always been my bop. The next question is asked by She Love Cass, and they asked, Would you ever give lessons to the little beans? Who knows, maybe we'd follow in your footsteps one day. Okay, that is actually very sweet. I would love to teach my young fans how to voice act and do it properly. I may suck at explaining things, but 
Hey, I'll try to go easy. <laughs> the next question is asked by Michaela Blanche, and they asked, Hi Allie, I was just wondering, will you ever make a merchandise like teddy bears and plushies of yourself or Kurapika when you reach a lot of subscribers? To be honest, I thought of making merchandise for you fans, like maybe just cute stickers or keychains. I don't know, plushies may sound a little... Hmm. I think I'll start up with something really small, like posters or keychains. Something like that. Just a little, good little start. But I would love to do that. And our final questions is by Anne48194, and they asked, um, what would your perfect day be like? I want to describe my perfect day. I would just say being outside, painting, have a radio on with music playing, just kiki, just chilling, and just enjoying the view and painting beautiful nature. That sounds like a perfect day to me. And what is one dream you wish was real? My one dream that my wish would come true is Papa Bean coming back to me. That would be a beautiful dream. The next one is, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm, maybe a little surprising, but I think I would like to go to Italy. It seems very beautiful down there and I would love to see like everything in person, especially the works of Leonardo da Vinci. But yet again, I think it's very beautiful down there. And the final and last question asked by Anne is, what's your biggest fear? Well, number one, spiders. Number two, the depths of the ocean. Number three, um, being watched. Number four, the dark. And number five, choking. And number six, um, Swifties. Wow, <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of questions right there, but um, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much, Beans, for all the support and asking me these silly questions. I'm so sorry I didn't get to any of them, like, from my post because I've already answered most of these um, questions from my past um, Q&As and you are more than welcome to watch that first and then watch this not everything has to be in order not everything has to be like it's just for shits and giggles but yeah that is part three for 2024 and thank you so much beans um Future ASMRs are still happening, creepy pastas, and makeup tutorials are in the works, so I hope you're hyped for that. Well then, have a wonderful day, little bean. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and try not to get into any trouble. Alright, bye bye